Hello guys, if you like my awesome gaming videos, my programming and web development courses, my editing courses and editing videos, and my tech talks and tech guidance, then you can consider subscribing to my channel and click on this bell icon to stay connected with me all the time. So now I have taken a simple circuit, which is a little bit of complicated compared to the previous one, but this is really important if you to understand how you can find the equivalent resistor of all of those resistors. So this is really important. So if we want to find the voltage of the circuit, and I is already given, which is the current is flowing is five ampere. Okay, I is given, so equivalent resistor we need to find so that we can multiply it with five ampere times the equivalent resistor of those circuit, then we can easily find the voltage. Uh, as you can see from the simple point of view so the current is flowing from there it is going from this branch and this branch we don't need to work with this branch at this moment suppose it is flowing from there and in this point okay in this point it is flowing from three different direction this one and this current is similar to this kind they are similar they, they are in series because same current is going from this one and this one okay this is 5 ohm resistor this is 10 ohm resistor so first we can do this 10 and 5 are in series. This is our first step. Okay, so let's do this. So we don't need to calculate everything again and again. What we can do, we can write only the important thing. So this 30 is already there. So what is the thing that is changes? Is 10 and 5 are in series. We need to calculate it. Just add those two things. Okay, so it would be done. So just keep it simple. This one is 1 ohm resistor and if i just add it they would be 15. now for this 15 1 and 30 are in see it is parallel because as you can see this current would be different current would be flowing from this one and this one and this one they are completely different they are not same and if the current is flowing from there, it would be divided across two different direction. If the current is passing from here, it is dividing from this one and this 15. So all of their one point is at B point. Suppose 15 has this point, one ohm resistor has this point is connected. They are all connected at this point and 13 is also connected here. And there another side, which is this one and this one and this one. They are connected at another point. So this is suppose A point, this is B point. So all of those resistors, one point is connected at B point and another is connected at A point. So they are definitely in parallel. So we can, from this, we can easily just write it simply. So we, this 30, this one, they are all parallel. So we're gonna write it, this 15 resistor, very simple, then we'll have an equivalent resistor of all of those three is gone this 15 this thing this 30 is totally gone we will have only one and this one is we need to calculate 15 1 and 30 so if we want to calculate it would be 1 by 15 plus 1 by 30 plus 1 by 1 so it would be 30 here and 2 times 15 is 30 1 and this should be 30 okay so this is 33 over 30 and now we need to calculate so this is the equivalent now we need to inverse this because we need to find the this one in this way we are finding the 1 by r eq for parallel but we need to inverse it so it would be 30 divided by 33 now we are calculating 30 over 33 is actually 0 0.90 so this is 0 0.90 ohm we will consider it 1 ohm okay we will consider it at 1 ohm simple 1 ohm and this 15 is this 15 and 1 and we have one more which is this this is 1 ohm and this one is 30 so we have 15 30 and 1 and 1 okay now let's see what we can do here this 1 ohm and 1 ohm one 
side is connected at C point and then another side is connected at D point. Okay. So they are parallel and current is going through different direction. If I go there, here we have two different directions, this one and this one. And if I go there, we have two directions, this one and this one. So one of their side is connected at one point and another side is connected at one point D. Okay. So they are in parallel. This is how we just understand how the parallel circuit is going on. Okay. So one and one. So the value should be, if I use the short formula, it would be one times one divided by one plus one which is one by two which is half ohm so we can easily write half ohm so if i use different color here this is 30 and this is 15 and we have 0 0.5 which is 15.5 okay you can consider is 15.5 and those two are in parallel so these two are in series so this is, this is very simple 15 plus 0 0.5 which is 15.5 and we just again calculate it and now it is 15.5 so we for calculation we can take it as 15 okay suppose 16 16 and this is 16 and 30 are in parallel so how can we do that um, 16 times 30 divided by 16 plus 30 let's calculate it and get the answer 10.4 10.4 is actually we can write it as suppose 10 okay we can write so in the examination you will want to do this but for my calculation purpose for simplicity i'm doing it okay so our final equivalent circuit would be if i redraw it here it would be on this five this is our current source and only only one equivalent resistor which is 10 ohm and five is given so if i just uh, calculate it v is equals to i times r which is five times equivalent resistor is 10 which is 50 volt so the 50 volt is added here so the equivalent circuit is important which is 10 ohm so if we calculate all of those things, we can replace it with the 10 ohm resistor on the 10 ohm resistor. Okay, so the final is this one. All is equivalent to only this is 10 ohm and this is 5. So here you can calculate everything what you want. So this is one of the easiest way to understand how the equivalent circuit, how we can calculate it. We can divide it across different format. So if you don't understand, you just need to watch it one or two or three more times to understand it. Be careful that in in this kind of scenario you need to find that this one is the same kind is passing from this so this is definitely series but as i have taken it as you can see these two things are this is weird to understand for the, in the in the beginning but as you can see the current would be completely different because they're completely different route okay so if i can goes from here it would be go one one portion is going from there another portion is there and if you come here one portion is would be going from there and the person is there so all of them having one single point which is maintained they have one similar point where they all connected and another similar point on the opposite side where they would be connected in the same situation this would be a parallel for complicated thing okay so you have to understand it really really important this is really important to understand if i suppose i have one more resistor okay this is also connected to there suppose this is 2 ohm resistor and this is connected to one point is at point A and the point is point B and all of them those things one point is an in B and another point is as A then they are also parallel then this four given this four resistor would be in parallel so you need to understand the concept of if their one side is connected to B point and the side is connected to A point similar to this okay and it is in this way you will find it really easily how you can do this and calculate the parallel circuit equivalent resistor you can find it for series it is very simple just add it for parallel it would be a little bit complicated you need to calculate it and don't forget to reverse it to find it okay if there is only two parallel circuit just sum adjust product of them divided by total sum here you can find it very easily if there is only two parallel resistor but if there is three you need to use this formula there is no other way that you can do 
you have to follow these rules to get it so i think in this video you can understand a lot of things how you can complicate things and how you can easily find it parallel circuit series circuit and complicated thing you can work and maintain the law of ohms 